Howdy y'all, it's Anna with Always Write, and in today's writing vlog, I am going to be going over all of my little notes that I took. I have my board back here. I'll be adding some of my notes on there, but I'm also going to keep track of notes on a notepad. I'm just going to copy over things that I feel shouldn't go on the board because I have a lot of them and some of these are kind of repetitive notes so I wanted to kind of internalize them and process them before you know I actually started working on it. My posting schedule has been garbage. I like to kind of stay two weeks ahead on my writing vlogs. I'm still not back to normal by any stretch of the imagination. I ended up cracking a rib had pneumonia, and I'm still getting over all of that really fun stuff. So I'm just now kind of starting to get my brain power back. I'm just now starting to be able to edit. It's about like 6.40 at night. It, it's just a wedding day, my dudes. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start processing all of my little note cards. I took all eight of the note cards that were on the board and I took them off. That way I can kind of mix them in with these note cards. I'm gonna get to it and I'll give you some like hyper fast footage or whatever it is. We'll have some b-roll footage so you can actually see the process too so it's not just like eh. Okay, I'm done. Okay, so I split my giant stack of cards that I did to the side and the ones that I came up with before rereading that were on this earlier, I have divided them into three different sections. I have the very, very like general chapter notes such as like rewrite chapter one. I think there's one that talks about like, you know, chapter 16, edit some of Ross's lines. Like they're very kind of general, like bigger, fixes, like you need to rewrite, you need to show, don't tell, that kind of stuff is in one of these piles. It's a pretty thin little pile, so this will go at the top. I'll do that in just a minute. And then I have the very detailed chapter cards that I copied over to my little notepad here. I don't want to show you it because it is it, it has it like has spoilers in it. But um, so I copied most of these onto this notepad and it didn't even fill up a full page like filled up most of a page. Like see, it did like that much of the page. So it's not bad. Um, these will not be going on the cork board. They're just gonna be chilling by themselves. And then my last section of cards are my general uh, theme and kind of consistency cards like uh, texts, like text messages are italicized and in quotation marks. And then it has like personality traits of two characters that are side characters that you only see a few times, but they're important to the plot. So these will go beneath the very uh, general chapter cards. And then as I'm writing, I will double check against my notepad. That didn't take long at all. I was really, expe I was really expecting this process to take a lot longer, but it was just kind of sorting and filling out. There are a few notes um, that I've thought through, thought of in the last like week since I finished reading my book that I'm going to make note of, and they're gonna go generally under the uh, general ones because they're kind of themey related. So that's about um, it for that. I'm gonna get them laid out. I don't think I'm gonna start rewriting chapter one. One of my general cards that I'm really iffy on is like my main character needs more agency, and I don't really know if she does. I don't remember reading it and going, oh, she doesn't have any agency. Oh, she's just kind of dragged from here to there. Like she takes place, she steps up, she encourages some things. So I don't think it's as true as I thought it was before I reread it. But I'm gonna move the camera so that you can watch me put the stickies up on the board and it'll just be kind of blurred and to the side. And this is a huge board. This is me standing and it's like four feet. It's like a three, four.
That's it. Ta-da! That's that. I mean, this is probably like my shortest writing vlog. From doing this and like reflecting and rereading and all that stuff, I have come to the conclusion that I have to rewrite two of my side characters. They both help drive the conflict. However, they felt inconsistent. They didn't feel realistic when I was reading them. Um, and they're, one of them at least is based off of a person I really know. And I was like, that's not really like, it doesn't feel realistic, doesn't feel lifelike. Yeah, I have a few things of show don't tell on there. Um, I have a few instances where I'm kind of justifying a chapter because I know that there's at least one chapter that it's it's interesting. It's very well written. Stuff happens in it. Um, but you're just like, okay, but this doesn't really add to the plot. It does, but it doesn't. <laughs> it adds to the climax, but it doesn't add to the plot. So I'm just like, hmm, I'm happy that I have this. It took basically a full pack of index cards. These are new ones that I have been kind of adding on. But going through it with the index cards, I used a full pack, so there's that. I use a full sheet of like a notepad paper. So I'm pretty much ready to start editing. I'm already like two weeks behind, but I can't help that. Like I, re I really can't because I get to a point in the day where my face just goes flaming red. Like my cheeks, especially right here, just get red and they get like veiny, like that kind of red. So I've been listening to audiobooks um, just to keep my mind active, but not like the painful active that it gets when I try to do too much work or I try to sit at the computer too long. I'm still recovering from C to the O to the VID 19. And it's going to be a while before I fully recover. Um, I'm really nervous going into flu season, having a really weakened immune system. But there's nothing I can do about it other than take my gummies, like my daily vitamins, those are my gummies, and just stay on top of it. Like try to not overexert myself, which is really hard because that's how I got this book done in early July. I'm glad I didn't fill up the entire cork board because I really thought, I was like, this is gonna fill up the entire cork board when I was like kind of looking at starting this process and it doesn't. So that's a win for me. <laughs> I imagine if I put like these that are very chapter specific, instead of putting them on a piece of paper, if I put them on the cork board, it would be a different story. I am proud that I was able to get this done. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm gonna go have dinner. This was a nice little quiet, short, at least I hope it was short, writing vlog, editing vlog, revision vlog, cork board vlog, whatever you wanna call it. But thank y'all so much for watching. I do writing and editing vlogs on Tuesdays and regular author tube content on Fridays. And those are gonna be picking back up to their regular schedule. Thank y'all so much for watching. As always, let's get writing.